So I have a birthday coming out and as a gift I got something that surprised me. Well, as you can tell it's nothing really surprising but it's the Amber Collection. But it surprises me because like I was, had no really any attentions and in ever investing money into this line since they don't match the other figures size wise they're like you know too big six inches kind of thing you know and I was not really a fan of the Amber Collection I mean the figures are cool and all that but I was worried that Mattel would just put all their money in six inch figures since they're popular apparently I, I guess I don't I don't know how it I guess I'm just saying I'm afraid that they would stick with this and not produce any other line. Like we wouldn't get three and a half quarter, however big they are, figures anymore. But so far they've been pretty good. Like every six inch figure they produce, they made a smaller version. And if they keep doing that, that I'm fine with that. Like they made a big six inch Dennis Hendry and then they made a small Dennis Hendry. If they do that stuff, I'm okay with Amber Line being a thing because it's a collector's thing for adults. Besides that, I'll be reviewing the Velociraptors from the Lost World Jurassic Park collection. Just wasn't newly released this year, and I haven't opened it yet since it's like a collector's for adults, but I'm taking it out of the box for this video. Because, yeah. So, just a quick look up. Here's the figure in the box. Menacing, and then there's the Lost World. I like this box in the amber. It looks cool. You have skeletons of dinosaurs and stuff. You can kind of see it there, yeah. And then it has the Lost World logo on the side. That's pretty cool. And it has the amber collection right here. Then I like the back of the box. It has the image of the raptor from the movie with the little logo. T Rex thing, and this says the. I'm not going to read this, you can read it, but it just talks about what it. about the figure, really. And I like how it said, no magic against a brave and skilled gymnast, which was a dumb scene. Yeah, and then i show it at the top, and then it has all this stuff on the bottom. But I like that it has all this on the back. That's pretty cool. I thought that's cool. But yeah, so let's get the sucker open. So here she is, like out of the box and on her stand that it comes with. And I guess I should start out saying that it doesn't stand on its own. But, um, hence the stand sub. So that works and the stand's nothing that exciting really it's just a clear plastic stand with the T-Rex classic logo they've been putting on everything but yeah that, that's just not talk about the stand let's talk about this beautiful figure that Intel did I believe that this they did an excellent job with the paint capturing what it looks like in the movie counterpart with the tail and all that it's just a here's just a 360 view of her or it I guess you can see here's like the, a look of the face up close you can see it, it's all menacing looking the jaws are open up so you can see inside I love the detail in its mouth you can't really see, but yeah, um, I just love this paint job really much. I can't get over how beautiful it looks. There, that's better. Just help. Look, look at it. It's beautiful. I love the sh sh tiger stripes and the scales you can see, or whatever you call those things. Just you can see the muscles kind of looking and I love the articulation in the neck and the top of the head and the jaws 
just I love the articulation on this thing. It makes it look all lifelike, I guess you can say. It has it in the wrist, the arm, and here I'll just do it this one. Wrist, arm, joints you can see. It all moves kind of like the Indoraptor, how it's super opposable. I love that. And the legs, each leg is super opposable too. It has a joint right here. Like, like right here, you can see it kind of. And even on this claw too, it goes up and down on its own so you can have him tap. If you wanted to have him tap or just kill a prey. His whole leg moves like does this. No, the hinds doesn't really move. Just here. Which is weird. And since we were in his butt back here, you can see the stand sits like in this little hole in the back right there, which is kind of weird. Right there, that's kind of weird. Um, But yeah, you can see it. Oh yeah, the leg does move. Here. And then here. And then here that's cool and then this tail is like this hard rubber thing all of this is like plastic which is cool but this is rubber the whole tail is flimsy right here you can see yeah you can pose them like that articulation of the tail too yeah you can spin that around but it doesn't stay when you spin it, I guess. But yeah, um, he kind of reminds me of this guy a little. He looks really good with him. Her, it could be like the male and female raptors. They look really good together. If you have this, is the Lost World kind of one. But yeah, they look really good. They are like the same size, kind of. Kind of like the male and females have the dots, and the males have like just the stripes. Wow, that looks really good together. But yeah, um, yeah, they yeah, this that can be a little hunter kind of thing. So I guess you could play with this with your Kenner figures if you have them. I guess. I mean, let's look. I have Malcolm right here. Lost World Malcolm. Mm, I guess. Like this was pretty big as is, and so it would be like, I guess it would be better if you had the figures that were actually meant for them, if you want to play with like that, but I just, god, I can't get over how good this looks, I love it, they did a good job on tell, but yeah, the articulation is very articulative, to sum it up, Paint job is really good on him. No complaints there. This is a really good figure. Well, I hope is. I guess. I guess I'm trying to say, it's worth forty bucks. The forty bucks, if you want him, I recommend getting him. He's more of a display play piece than a toy, but you could play with him if you wanted to. But yeah, um, that's pretty much him. The Raptor from the Lost Royal Amber Collection. Yeah.